Hey everyone, I got a lot of requests to film the eyeshadow look that I was wearing in the Ulta haul video, so keep on watching and I'll show you how to do this. So just to speed things along, I've already done all my face makeup and all the products will be listed below. And now let's get on, to, I even put on my lipstick for you. And now let's get on to the eyes. So um, I'm just going to wipe away the foundation that's on there. And I'm mixing it up a little bit because the makeup look that I wore in the Ulta haul was sort of a first attempt at wearing color and since then I've tweaked some things to make me more comfortable with it. If you're not happy with color or you're not used to wearing color, this may be a good way to transition, but I also just think it looks better. Let's get started with the base look, so to speak. I am using the Naked Basics palette. You can use anything that has a bunch of neutrals. I am um, going to just put a light Toby Brown color in my socket line, just to sort of define the crease. I think it, it helps. So just using a... Uh, Sigma blending brush E25, which is the same as the MAC 217 or any blending brush, and just very lightly putting that in. And it's not actually in the crease, it's not where the line is, it's up on the socket and a little above. And this will really help kind of pull it all together. and actually soften the look. I think it makes it look much more wearable. Now if you prefer the look I was wearing in the Ulta haul video, then skip this part. Now if you want a little more definition, um, I would go in the outside corner with a slightly darker color and I'm just going to use faint with a very uh, light hand. Just a little bit. Okay, not as light as I had wanted, but I'll show you how to fix that. Taking a clean brush, I don't know what this is. What is this? A tapered blending brush in E40. We're just going to blend, blend, blend. I like to wipe it off on the back of my hand. Okay, basic boring part over. Now for the fun part. This is the um, Benefit Always a Bridesmaid Creaseless Cream Shadow. I don't use a primer with this. Um, I have dry lids to begin with. I do use primers most days, but just to even out the color of my skin um, on my eyelids. But in this case, this kind of acts like the primer. So I like using a synthetic brush. I just picked up the Naked 2, the one that comes with the Naked 2 palette. It has this nice little handy, very small flat brush. So I'm just picking up the product and I'm going to pat it on the lid. And you can even get it right over where you put some of that brown. And apparently you can also get it on your face. <laughs> I like to pat it. I feel like I get better color that way. And I'm gonna, even though it says it's creaseless, I'm gonna try to keep it under, only on the part of my lid that moves. That little line right there, just below that. And I'm going to also run a little bit on the very tip under my eye. I discovered them. These are two single eyeshadows by Catrice, and I learned about these this line from watching Julia Mischievous, and she used these colors in a tutorial, and I was just hooked. And the one that I've been using is the Violent Violent Violet. It's a very blue purple. I've been trying to find a dupe. Um, I'm sure MAC has something very similar. I think NYX Purple is a really good, it's very close from what I can tell. Um, you just want a real vibrant purple. I want a, a bright purple, not a not a muted with um, like plummy tones. I, I wanted just something bright. 
And then the other color I'm using, I'll be using really just in the inner corner, is also by Catrice, and it's called Gilbert's Grapefruit. Um, if I could open it, that would be even better. Here we go. Looks like that. I'll swatch it for you. It's just a very light pink. In the Ulta haul, I wore um, All That Glitters Instead by MAC, but I kind of like the finish of this better. And it's just a very icy pink. I wish I had a slightly smaller shader brush, but I'm going to use this one. It's, I don't even know what it is. It's the old Sigma numbering system, the SS239, before they got in trouble. Um, tap off and start packing it on. I am avoiding the inner, inner, inner corner. And you can bring it out to where the brown is. Now I want to bring the color up a little bit, but I don't want it as um, concentrated, so I'm just using another blending brush. And I'm just going to start bringing it up into the crease. I'm actually just going over the whole lid to pull the color up and fade it a bit. I can add more color, but um, to intensify the look after I've blended, but this is what I've been doing lately. I find that it's less, it's more goof proof this way. So that's it for the color and then just to add a little pop, so to speak, I wish there was a better word. Doesn't I actually prefer using a flat brush. Aha, here's the Sonia Kashuk. It's teeny tiny. And I'm just dipping that in and popping it in the inner corner just to give it it's really just more of an illusion of lightness I have not completely close set eyes but closer set eyes and the way to figure that out is you should have about enough space for a full third eye here and I don't um, so I like to open that area up by putting lighter colors over there and I will blend that out a little bit favorite blending brush of all time is the Walmart HD Duo. It comes in a set of two other brushes, but this is the one that's just my favorite. And then I'll go back into the Naked palette, Naked Basics palette, and I will use hmm, Walk of Shame. I actually prefer Wet n Wild Brulee, but I didn't have it with me out here. And I'm just going to use this to blend out a little bit on the top, because I just don't feel like the look is finished until you put something on the top. I am obsessed with these. I just got another color. This is this um, Rimmel London Scandalized Waterproof Cold Kajal. This one's in brown. I also have bronze and black and I want to pick up the silver and all the other colors. They're just, other than the annoying part that you have to actually sharpen them, I've been spoiled by using automatic pencils. I um, And they do have an automatic one but I like this one better. It's creamy, it's creamier than the Milani, it, it's creamier than Stila. Love. Okay, I'm just going to quickly line my line. Eyes, I'm not doing anything fancy because frankly I can't really do anything other than a simple line. If you don't want as harsh a line, use bronze. If you really want a more dramatic eye, of course, use black. I believe I used bronze actually in the video before. But... This is good. If you want a tight line, knock yourself out. Of course, mascara just makes everything better and I'm about to repurchase this because I think it's, it's on its way out. It's the, I did a review on it, the Origins Ginseng Brightening Mascara to Lengthen and Lift. I just love, 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 love. And it's not crazy expensive. It's under $20. Um, so, you know, it's worth. It's more than the Jordana that I also love that's $2.99. But the no smudging thing, to me, so in this hot, hot, hot weather I'm living in is so worth it. Forgot the under eyeshadow part. I'm just using the pencil part of this double-ended thing. It's the same as like a $2.19, basically. And I'm just going to... First, do the light brown, the Naked 2. 
underneath and try not to smudge the mascara more than I already have. Then I'm going to go back with the purple. And I'm going to tap that out on my hand because it's very purple. And then I'm going to smudge it more with my finger. And, you know, it's your face, so play with it. I, personally, it's okay. I would feel a little more comfortable with a little more brown in the crease, so I'm going to go back and add a little bit of brown. And I'm going to use a big fluffy brush for that. Just to help blend it out a little bit. All, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your face. You do what makes you feel comfortable, obviously. And I like that just a little bit better. So here's the finished look. And actually, I filmed myself doing this, and now it is about six hours later. So it's worn a little bit throughout the day. Um, as far as hair, I just kind of loosely curled it and then combed it out to give it a little body. But um, what's key about this technique is you don't have to use purple eyeshadow. Um, you don't need a base. I just wanted an excuse really to play with my new cream shadow, but if you're kind of curious about playing with color, if you're a neutral girl like me and it's time to branch out and try purples or blues or greens, um, a way to transition into doing that, make it a more wearable look, is to do your regular crease and outer corner and just add the color on the lid and blend it out with your neutral beiges and taupes and things like that. It, if you're comfortable, in what you put on your face, then you can pull off just about anything. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.